All right, so I'm going to show you how to do another operation with arrays, which is comparing two arrays, whether they're equal or not. So what I'm going to do is I have three arrays here, A1, A2, and A3. They're arrays of integers. They could be arrays of anything, but I choose integers. And as you can see, this array is not the same as this one, but it's exactly like this one. So we're going to, so A1 is not the same as A2, but it's exactly like A3. So we're going to uh, compare the arrays. And for that, the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to create a Boolean variable that's going to tell me whether two arrays are equal or not. And I'm just going to assume that they start, two arrays start being equal. And here's how the intuition is. I'm going to go through each element of the array. I'm assuming they have the same lengths. Okay, if they don't have the same lengths, then they're, they're, they're obviously not equal. But, so if they have the same lengths, I'm going to compare the element 0 in A1 with the element 0 in A2. The element 1 in A1 with the element 1 in A2, and so on and so forth. As you can tell, the minute that I find that the element 0 or the element i in one array is different than the element i in the other array, then the arrays are not similar. So then this equal will become false. As you can see from comparing a1 to a3, element 0 is equal to element 0. Element 1 is equal to element 1. Element 2 is equal to element 2. And basically, any i going from 0 to 4 will be equal. Um, we can actually do this one there, put a 1 there. Uh, and then comparing this, these two are equal. But then these two are not equal. That means immediately that the array is not equal. Okay, so uh, we're going to go with, we're going to create a for loop to go from 0 to the length of one of the arrays, A1 in this case, okay? Um, so 0 to 4 in this case, I will be from 0 to 4, so for each element, what I'm going to do is I'm going to compare the two, the, the element at index i on one array and at index i on the other array. So for example, if I'm comparing to a1 to a3, I'm going to say if a1 sub i is not a3 sub i, then this equal becomes false. Okay? And then I'm going to do this for the whole array. So the minute something's different, equal be, will become false and not true anymore. If all, they're all the same, this if will never be executed. If all the elements of a3 are the same as the, element, as the elements of a1, this if will never get executed and equal will still be true at the end of this for loop. Okay? So whatever the value of equal is at the for loop, I'm just going to print it. I'm just going to print line arrays are equal and then the variable equal. So let's compile this and run it. We'll, we're comparing a1 to a3. Run. It says arrays are equal. True. Now let's compare it to a2 a1 to a2. Compile and run. And it says arrays are equal, false. Right? So equal is false. And this is kind of what we want. We want to see if two arrays are equal. We see it this way. 